Before going to bed, I think there's two things that I'd like to um, I'd like to leave as a thought, as a bedtime thought. The first one is that, as far as Ofsted is concerned, the Ofsted ruling about a school has very little to do with the results that students get in that school. So the GCSE and A level results might be exceptional, and yet the Ofsted result may be quite poor, and vice versa. Uh, in the end, I think parents need to judge a school by its results, not by what some banker has to say about it. That's the first thing. And the second thing is about this extraordinary um, operation by... Uh, what are they? What are they called now? What are they called? Oh well, anyway, whatever they're called, um, to um, to trap uh, a series of MPs into whether or not they uh, are up for second jobs, and five of them apparently were. Uh, one of those was Gavin Williamson, and he eventually bowed out. But four of them were very keen, and one of them doesn't seem to have been mentioned yet. I'm very keen to uh, get hold of the Observer newspaper tomorrow and find out if that name will be in there. Is this person even more extraordinary than um, Matt Hancock and uh, Kwasi Kwarteng? We know that Kwasi Kwarteng, of course, has already um, tried to thrust his own uh, prodigious package on the whole of us and almost uh, toppled almost scuppered our economic um, health uh, with, the, um, with the sight of his prodigious package. Uh, and we know that Matt Hancock also, um, he with the wandering arms and the wandering hands and the uh, desperate need for an HB pencil with a rubber on it. Oh, Gina, let's get into the stationary cupboard and get some movement. And uh, Graham Brady, he of the 1922 committee, I think, um, you know, they're all at it. They're all at it, desperate to line their pockets with an extra bit of cash simply because they've been sitting on the green benches and been present when people significantly more important than they were were dealing with the crises of our country and of the world. Observers who want to cash in, I, I think really they should bow out. They've been caught with their pants down. And not for the first time, Matt Hancock, not for the first time.